So Sony A7 IV Plus 11mm f1.8 is the best travel vlogging lens a kit. 22 hours in Rome, so what a better chance to test this kit. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be epic, let's go. What I really like about this lens is that it's really a really small, compact, and lightweight and it's the perfect lens for vlogging. So there is a secret full frame model with this, which is APS-C on the Sony A7 IV. Okay, so this is the 11mm APS-C on the Sony A7 IV. As you can see, it's very, very, very wide, super wide, and just an arm away from the camera. And but you see that horrible black circle around on the APS-C mark. Now let's turn on active stabilization. Okay, now it's turn on active stabilization, and as you can see, it's always still very wide we are on the full frame we are not in the APS-C mode so we are not cropping we are not losing sensor size as you can see with this secret full frame mode you can go really really wide and uh, we are basically at around 12 millimeter with active stabilization on and as you can see of course it's pretty stable and I'm really really close to the camera but I'm getting a really wide field of view so what I'm gonna show you it will improve a lot the marking on the full frame with an APS-C lens but definitely it's not suggested and it will definitely void your warranty but if you want you can do something like this so if you want you can remove the top cover here it's pretty easy just need to go inside the lens but as I said it's not suggest but it will definitely improve so don't try this at home so we are in Piazza di Spagna and as you can see right now we are in crop mode right now we are in free mode with active stabilization turn on and as you can see how wide it is this Let's test out the focus. It works pretty well with the dual motor and the new redesigned out of focus and it's pretty fast and snappy. Of course with Sony A7 IV. Same thing if you go really really close to an object. I really love the bokeh and the crispy effect. Is the field of view a little bit too wide and it deformed the face? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> so what about low light? Here we are in the night and we are near the Colosseum 
And uh, here we have a lot of light, but on the other end we have a lot of dark and we are ISO around 1300. I think it's pretty good, the F1.8 works pretty well. So in conclusion what I really love about this tiny lens is that it's very small and portable so it's perfect for travel and vlogging and I really really love the shallow depth of field which is perfect for vlogging to separate the subject and the foreground. And the best part of all is that it costs less than $500 right now on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you consider an ultra wide lens like the 16 to 35 f4, it will cost more than $1,000. So it's a tremendous deal just to have a small and compact lens, which is very, very wide, and you can just put in your bag and in case just if you need it it's very stable because it's wide because we can use active stabilization so i can definitely recommend that it's a must have in your photography and video bag so this wraps up for today thanks so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one ciao